Meridional eruption uh, is on a new fault line. Uh, of course, nothing is new in the sense of the rocks. The rocks are the old ones that we had there. But as you can see, the line of the fissure ends up as a hit in the hill. Uh, it's one of the hills to the north of the Fagradesville volcano. You can see in this uh, view of it, it's as if you're on a fault line, the kind of line hitting this hill and then extending on the other side. Uh, we presume it exists there. This is uh, uh, something that we have seen with the Fagradesville volcano. In Iceland, such things are common. This is the extension point when the blocks of the rocks are coming and falling down. VIP Hill was a good example of it. They were falling down, sliding against each other downward as the, as the land extends. And from the fault line, the weakness in the rock, the magma can rise up and form a volcano. We have a, in the Gelderlingel Valley, we had this. <laughs> and this is due to the extension of the Atlantic Ocean we have in all the oceans like that. At the Fagadesville volcano and the Meridale volcano, we have this extension uh, in this area. First, it started from the Fagadesville, now it's extended two kilometers to the north in the Meridale valley. And it may eventually reach the Kailir. It's like a zipper which is opening up gradually. This is opening up of the mid Atlantic ridge, which is on the surface in the uh, in the Iceland. That is the, all the hills you see are at the top of those fault lines. Eurasian plate and North American plate are separating from each other in the middle. And that is exactly where we are now in this volcano area. As they extend, as the ocean extends, you see the animation of it in the past, now to the present. The other side of it, which is toward the Americas and the Pacific Ocean, undergoes subduction. And we, that's the reason we have Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier on that side. The oceanic plight of the Pacific Ocean undergoes in the South America and North America and then creates these volcanic uh, uh, stratovolcanoes volcanoes there. And uh, we, eruptions we see like that all the time. Guatemala is famous for that. Mexico, North America. These are, these are all the same lines. We have extension in the Iceland. You have subduction in the other side of the ocean.